Hey there, today we're diving into the fascinating world of meteorites. How do you tell if that rock you found might be a piece of space history? Stick around because we're breaking it all down for you. Meteorites are fragments of rock or iron from meteorites, asteroids, or possibly comets that pass through a planet or moon's atmosphere and survive the impact on the surface. Those bright streaks of light we see at night? Those are small meteorites burning up as they pass through our atmosphere. So how rare are meteorites? Incredibly rare. Most meteors, about 90 to 95 percent, don't survive their fiery journey through the atmosphere. And those that do often fall unnoticed in remote areas or into oceans. Some even say they're more rare than diamonds. Are meteorites magnetic? Absolutely. Most meteorites contain a significant amount of iron. So, if it's magnetic, it might just be a meteorite. And speaking of iron, that also makes meteorites pretty heavy. They're denser than Earth rocks of the same size. Are meteorites radioactive? Mostly no. They do contain small amounts of radioactive particles. But these particles dissipate quickly and aren't dangerous. Another common question. Are meteorites on fire when they crash into Earth? No, meteorites are cold in space, and the brief time they spend shooting through the atmosphere isn't enough to heat the rock completely. So, when they land, they're not hot enough to set anything on fire. Not all meteorites are the same age. Some of the oldest meteorites clock in at 4.56 billion years old. Meteorites from the moon range from 2.9 to 4.5 billion years old while those from Mars can be anywhere from 200 million to 4.5 billion years old. Let's talk about types of meteorites. The most common are stony meteorites divided into chondrites, achondrites, and the rare planetary achondrites. Chondrites are full of chondrules, tiny melted rock droplets. Achondrites lack chondrules and form on planetary bodies with a core and crust. Planetary achondrites come from the Moon or Mars. Stony iron meteorites are the rarest, containing an equal mix of silicates and nickel iron alloy. Palisites and mesosiderites are the two subgroups. Palisites form between an asteroid shell and core, while mesosiderites form from asteroid collisions. Iron meteorites are the most recognizable, made mostly of nickel iron alloy, and although they aren't the most common, they're pretty distinctive. So how do you identify a meteorite? Start with the magnet test. Most meteorites especially iron and stony iron ones, will stick to a powerful magnet. If it doesn't, it might still be a rare lunar or Martian meteorite. Next, check the weight. Meteorites are heavy. A small meteorite can feel unnaturally dense, like holding a steel ball. Look for visual clues like fusion crust, a thin, dark rind formed by intense atmospheric heating that regmaglyphs those thumbprint like depressions on the surface. Also, Keep an eye out for flow lines and chondrules. Flow lines are tiny rivulets formed as the surface melts and flows during atmospheric entry. Chondrules are grain-like spheroids not found in Earth rocks. For a more definitive identification, labs can test for nickel, which is rare on Earth but almost always present in meteorites. Some universities, like Arizona State University, have advanced equipment for meteorite analysis. And that's your guide to meteorites. Whether you're a budding astronomer or just curious about these space rocks, now you know what to look for. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more cosmic content. Drop your questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.